in the cold having a walk so been away for a while I've had I was working out fine I was doing great and then I had a stomach flu well a stomach bug and I couldn't eat anything I was just like Bleh. so I had to ease back into eating and that obviously made me very weak um, so I couldn't work out like I was so I had to stop that I was still like a little bit of walking but not every day and then I got sick like flu sick not COVID but flu sick and I still had the stomach bug so I was not doing great for quite a while so I completely stopped working out I had no strength nothing so for a few weeks of absolute no movement just inside the house and barely eating I kept off the weight until about a week ago when I was able to eat again and then I gained everything again well not everything but um, so as you see in my weights you will see that uh, I think last time that I was with you guys I was just under 65 kilos and now I'm pretty much 66 so I gained a little but it's not too bad so because now I am getting back into it I can't just start full on working out what I was doing because that will damage my body more than help out. So for a week before I actually start working out again, I have to walk every day. And the goal is to do 10,000 steps of walking every day. So making sure I'm moving. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now I'm not gonna film every day because I'm still eating like I am now to gain strength again so not cutting out anything and we're on the Christmas week so it's not feasible to do that so I'm not you know binge eating but I'm enjoying food and doing my walks so you should see me again uh, now on day one of week one again starting out again and we'll see how that goes but um, so far I can tell you I'm on the first day of walking and I've done 36 minutes walking and I'm out of breath I'm tired my arm holding you for three minutes it's already hurting like hell so that should give you an idea of how bad physically I am right now so fun times for me but we'll keep trying I will film again this week in the walking week if I need to update you with anything bad that has happened so like if I'm struggling or anything to make it very real okay otherwise if I manage to push three push through uh, you will see me on starting my 12 week again of training hardcore we'll see Root for me. See ya.
also just so you know um, I am training to get myself into a good not just healthy um, weight and um, physical activeness but I am also competing as a bikini competitor and so I need to properly put myself into the right body shape for that so my goal not at the end of the 12 weeks because I don't think I can hit it in 12 weeks but my end goal for the bikini competition is um, get to 56 kilos um, the fat percentage, if I get to 21.5% fat and 31.9% muscle, that'll be great. Um, I don't know if I will reach that in 12 weeks, I don't think so, but um, if I can reach that before the actual competition, that'll be great. So that's the end goal. Um, I had to calculate everything very detailed according to my body type, my height, my lifestyle. Um, so I wouldn't recommend just everyone to just do those numbers that I just mentioned because those numbers are specifically targeted for my body, my body structure and everything. So just reminding you I am a dietitian and oh, I have the knowledge for this and I have equipment that measures my body um, in detail for me to be able to calculate these things. If you want to know what your best weight and body fat and body muscle is, you need to look for a dietitian or a personal trainer. They usually have those machines as well and they'll be able to help you out if you want to know your numbers those are my numbers <laughs> no copying <laughs> now nah, that is just to give you a guideline i have very light bone structure um very fine light bone structure so um does seem like very little weight for my height but it's actually a healthy amount of weight for my height considering my, bo my bone density. So, tip out there for you guys. Okay, you're heavy, so I'm gonna put you away. So, just as an update, sorry for my messiness. Um, as an update, uh, day one that I was supposed to start doing my 10,000 steps, I had no willpower. So, and it was a rainy day, so I ended up not doing anything at all. Day two was when I spoke to you, so um, I did over 10,000, I did 15 if I'm not mistaken. But that day, that day I did so much after doing so little that right during the walk, so after about an hour 20 minutes which is not bad but after an hour 20 minutes walking i started feeling pain on my knees and on my legs and on my feet and my back as well and the morning after on day three my abs were they hurt a lot as if i had done a full set of ab workout even though i haven't so, this is how unfit I am. Very great. And today is day three. It's pretty much ending the day and I have not done any steps. Day four of walking and I was doing good and then I got rained on. So now I'm wet and I fell in a puddle. So, honest feelings. I hate it right now. I am hating it. 
I don't usually hate the rain and puddles and things like that but like when you're not physically good and you're already struggling with a good weather having that happen is not great but I think I'm managing to hit the two hour walk today we'll see and I'll let you know how I feel my back does hurt already um, but at least my knees don't hurt yet yet we'll see how that goes okay so I am on day six right now uh, and the last thing you saw was day four so to catch you up day four it ended fine I, I just had my feet a bit sore and the top of my back um, so which tells me that I am not standing properly I'm not I don't have a good posture right now so day five I ended up not going for a walk because one it was raining and two it was cleaning day so I spent the day cleaning and cooking and because Christmas dinner and stuff like that so ended up being a lot busier and I had no time really to walk uh, so technically I have to walk quite a bit these next two days to cover for that but um, that will depend on how my body feels so right now I'm on day six I'm at the beginning-ish of the walk so it's not too bad so far but um, you can hear I'm out of breath and my arm is tired from carrying you so we'll see uphill <laughs> struggle is real So closing off uh, the seventh day that I was supposed to be walking, I didn't, it was raining the whole day and I had to work so I didn't have that many hours in the day to choose to do my walk so ended up finishing the week where I was supposed to have hit about 70,000 steps. Uh, and I was 17,000 short so still not bad um, because at the end of the day I went from not walking at all not exercising not moving at all to moving um, almost being full-fledged not sedentary anymore so that was a win on that side but now this following week we need to start properly working out and for that I don't know if I'm ready I don't think my body can handle it but that's how you start your body won't handle it and then slowly but surely you get there so yeah that's the end of sedentary week no longer <laughs> and we'll start with the actual workouts side note uh, when I mentioned my numbers uh, I gave numbers that I think I can achieve and that I have previously had and um, I know it's not impossible but a proper bikini competitor they are around 8 to 15 percent body fat for a female um, so for males is a bit lower uh, but just so you know 
it's 8 to 15 and I'm not trying to hit the 15. I will eventually try. Um, but because I don't know, realistically speaking, if I can reach that, I've put myself on a target that I know I can do. Uh, so the 21.5% is a healthy amount for a non-bikini competitor, just is a lean person, but not bikini competitor. And if I'm able to maintain that, I can then work harder to try and get to 15. I know with knowledge and everything you can, I just don't know if I will have the willpower. So <laughs> that's why I say being realistic. When you set your goals, you have to keep that in mind. What can I do? what I'm willing to do and what can my body get to because if you set an unrealistic goal of a body expectation that your body is not designed for there's no way no matter what you do that you will hit that for example if you have let's say a short stocky body where your shoulder and hip bone structure are aligned so they're, they make you have like a square shape. It is, <laughs> it is impossible, not impossible, but it's unrealistic to have a curvy long body if you have that kind of structure. You can have a lean body, but realistically speaking, your body was shaped to be more square. So you won't really get the curves in the middle, unless of course you do surgery, remove ribs, which is completely unconventional in my eyes. Um, it's too much of a harsh level of invasion in your body and I do not recommend it but also you cannot elongate your body if you have a short um, upper body there's no way no matter how much exercise or surgery or diet that you do you will not be longer that is physically impossible because your bone structure is in that certain way so you have to keep in mind those details and a lot of people forget that they are like oh this is my body expectation this is where I want to hit and then they have nothing of that structure it's like saying oh my dream is to be two meters tall but I I am one 0.5 meters tall there's sorry there's nothing you can do to make that change what you can do it's other alterations that are in your hands but not something like that so when I did my measurements and my numbers I kept that in mind what is my body like what is the shape how is it structured you know so don't be harsh on yourself you are beautiful the way you are and if you want to reach something like this please be kind on yourself and do look at yourself properly and see am i being realistic with my body or am i being just evil and mean because i'm gonna torture myself and never manage to hit that goal be kind on yourself dieting and exercising to a goal like this is not easy so please please be nice to yourself keep that in mind don't stop your goals if you want to reach that go for it but be kind <laughs>